All right, welcome back. We've got a new tune this week for you. Uh, I'm excited to be learning um, a request from one of our regular session goers. So this is a tune called Gravel Walk. Uh, it's a little bit trickier than the tunes we've learned so far because it's in four parts. So there's an A, B, C, and D part to go with this. So we'll break each of those parts down and then hopefully we'll put it all together. So just be prepared as you're coming in. This is a little bit longer video and there's a little bit more more notes to remember as we go through. So feel free to take some time back up, review parts before you move on if you should need to do so. So Grab a Walk is a reel. It is in A minor and we'll get started with the A section. Let's, once you listen to the whole tune, I'll play it uh, three times through. The first time slow, the second time a little faster, and the third time at sort of a session tempo, and then we'll break down the A part. So here we are, gravel walk in A minor.
All right, now that you've heard the whole tune of Gravel Walk a few times, let's dive right in to the A part. So since this is a tune in A minor, the there are a lot of A's. So I'll play through the A part uh, twice slowly and listen for the, the number of A's. So it starts on an A, and uh, as you're listening, listen for the form. It has a little different structure than some of the other tunes that we've we've learned so far. This doesn't follow our little a, little b, little a, little c pattern. Every phrase is a little bit different, which is one of the things that makes this tune a little bit trickier than some of the others we've learned. So let's take a look at a first phrase. It starts on an open A, and it goes to a high E. And then it goes up one note to a B. And then back to the E. So this little bouncy pattern. Bum, 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 bum. Sometimes it helps uh, me to visualize the melodic contour when the notes get higher and lower. So this one's very bumpy in this part. A, E, A, B, A, E, A. So let's take that first phrase and we'll circle it around a few times. Here we go. <laughs> phrase starts the same way, but on that B it takes a little fork in the road and it has a little turnaround. So listen to the second phrase. the notes for that part. So let's try it together a few times. Ready, and... And that last A is one of those sort of double, double jobbed notes. It's the end of the second phrase and the start of the first, of the third phrase. So just be aware of that as we're coming around. So we'll do it two more times. Ready, second phrase, and go. phrase and the second phrase together. So listen once and then join me as we circle it a couple of times around. Ready and... Play along this time. Ready, here we go now. together and here we go. Alright, and we'll, when we get to the end of the A part, circle around a few times to really help get it under our fingers. So if you don't have all the notes quite yet, I'd recommend you keep going a little bit until we hit the end of the A section and we can repeat it through a few times. The third phrase starts the same as the first and second. But then it goes climbing up on the beam. And that was actually the third and the fourth phrase together. So they run together in a bit of a scale pattern. So we'll t uh, tackle those two together. So it starts the same. 
And then we have a little scaly bit that goes up. It skips the C sharp though, so it goes from B to D, all the way up to high G. So it's a high G natural, and then it turns around. So on our scale back down, it skips the F sharp. So if we started on that high G we paused on just a minute ago, skip to E, and then it's straight down the scale with a C natural to the low G, back to B and A. So listen to that third and fourth phrase together. Skip F sharp, C natural, and let's repeat that. We'll repeat it a couple extra times since it's twice as long as our other two phrases. So we'll play it together starting on the open A to the E. Ready, and... together. We'll circle it around five or six times and after we've done it a few times we'll pick up the tempo just a little bit. If you need to listen to listen to the whole thing one time through just to get the first part back in your ears. Ready and... <laughs> Beginning. 
And again, that last A will lead us into the B part. So if you're not sure of any of the notes in the A section yet, go ahead, back up this video, take another look at them, take another listen to them, and then try the, the repetition again at the end. And when you feel like you've gotten pretty much most of the notes for the A part, go ahead and move on to the B part. And here we are at the B part. So the B part is one of the trickier parts in gravel walk. Listen to it, uh, I'll play it twice through, but in particular notice what happens the second time through the piece, through the, through the section. So did you notice that the second time through the ending was completely different? Uh, depending on your familiarity with musical terms, you could think of this as first and second endings. Um, if you're not as familiar, that basically means the first part stays the same, but then the second time we do a different part when we repeat the tune. So it makes it a little bit more noty, um, just something we have to keep in our heads. You may have also noticed at the end I sort of ended in this ambiguous note. It didn't feel finished. Um, there's a ten going to be a tendency to want to go and end on the A because we are in A minor and that's our home tone that we like to come back to. But it actually leads into the C natural for our C part. So that's why I just sort of left it hanging there. So when we get to that part, we will leave it hanging as well. So let's take a look at the first phrase of our B section. It starts on the A and then it jumps to an octave A. <laughs> And these little notes up high are doing a scale pattern, A, G natural, F sharp. Every time we come back to an A in between those. A, G, F sharp. And you notice there's two A's at the end. So let's take that first phrase and repeat it three times together. Ready, and. phrase in here also does that little catch. It does a little up to an F sharp, sorry, up to an E, and then it borrows this little phrase from the A part. B, A, G, B. So let's try that second phrase a couple of times, starting on the A to high E. first two phrases now and put them together. This is the part that will repeat the second time as well. This this will stay the same both times. Ready, open, A now starts. And let's circle that around. So that B wants to lead to the A. Let's go ahead and let it do that, and that A will also be our start of that high scale pattern. So we'll circle it around a couple of times together. Ready, and.
so if we're taking a look at our third phrase now, it starts very similarly. This is the part, though, when we get to the repeat, is our, is our second ending. We'll change this the second time around. Uh, so actually, before we learn the, first, the third phrase, let's take the first and second phrase together. I'll play the whole B section twice. Your job is to play the first and second phrase each time we go through, and then listen to the third and fourth phrase and see if you can notice how they change. So here we go, the B section twice through playing the first and second phrase. Ready, and... So did you notice how that third and fourth phrase in the first time through is different than the third and fourth phrase in the second time through? So simply just be aware of that and we'll break both of them down to get you started. Let's take a look at that third phrase the first time. It mimics the start of the first phrase, but it skips the F sharp. So earlier we had this little pattern. This time we don't. We're going to skip the F sharp and go to the E. So that note is an E. Let's just do that a couple of times and then we'll add on the rest of the, first, the phrase in this, this third phrase. Ready, and... we're going to climb up and we'll end on a G natural there. So we just have two more notes to add, the F sharp and then G. Listen once and then we'll circle this third phrase a couple of times. Ready, and. Same thing, ready, and. Last time, go. So let's take our first, second, and third phrase and put them together now, starting on that open A. Ready, and. So you see how that's all coming together now. Let's take a minute and finish this the, the first time through the B part, and then we'll take a look and uh, repeat that, and we'll add the second ending coming up here. So we've got the fourth phrase left to go. It starts on this G. And on this G, oftentimes, it might be notated, if you were to, to write down the dots for this, it would just be notated potentially as a long uh, chord note. Oftentimes, though, we would decorate it. We'd put either a roll, uh, so flute and whistle would be a cut and a tap together. For fiddle, we're going one note higher and then one note lower. Uh, so you're, feel free to add in that little bit of ornamentation. You might also hear like a um, interruption in the rhythm. Just depends on on the character of the tune that you'd like to like to give it. So we're starting on that G. Then it goes down to the open E. And then we have a little. Uh, broken up chord, which basically means we're taking every other note for a moment here. We go from our D, B, G, back to B, and then we end on our open A. 
our home tone that feels finished there. So let's take that fourth phrase a couple of times. Listen the first time, starting on the roll. Open E. Let's play it a couple of times together. Ready and. section together. Let's play through it. We'll put a little pause at the end so we kind of reset our brains to go, oh, this is actually what happens the second time, but we're getting close. So let's take that from the beginning, that high to start, and we'll play through it twice. Ready, and... where we'll stop. Ready, open, A again. through the B section to learn. So the first and second phrase stay the same. It's the third and fourth phrase that change. Let's one time through the second time through the B. Same so far. Here it changes. phrase in this section again sort of run together so we'll learn them all together it is very scale scalular which means one note at a time going up or down so we start on that a this is our third phrase C natural all the way up to high a that's sort of our third phrase so let's do that basically it's an a scale starting on our open a going to high high a up one note at a time. Ready, and... So it's actually pretty straightforward. It's one of the easier parts of this tune. As it goes back down... skips one note and that's the F sharp so it goes from our A this is the high A we only play it once skip to E then it goes straight down one note at a time then this is that little turnaround that we had earlier going back up to the B but instead of going to the A making it feel complete we're gonna go up to the C natural getting ready for the C part. So listen to the B section. This is the second time, the repeated part of the B section. Listen once and just put that all together in, in your melodic memory. Ready, and. C 
natural is the start of the C part. So let's take our B section the second time through and we'll repeat it a couple of times and then we'll put the B parts together. Here we go, playing along this time. Ready and... <laughs> Okay, here comes the whole B part with the first time through and the second time through with the different endings. We'll play through the B part, we'll give it a little pause at the end, and then we'll circle it a few times around to get the muscle memory in our fingers started. Here we go, beginning of the B section. Ready, and... <laughs> section twice through. Let's do it a couple of times and we'll pause there each time to do our repeat. Ready and...
right, let's put our A section and our B section together just to keep our overall form or the overall melody going in our head. Sometimes we get so caught up in the part we're learning, we forget there are other parts to go. So we'll play through, if you need to listen at one time, feel free to do so. We'll play through A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B. And again, we'll put that little break at the end of the B part to circle to the beginning, very beginning of the tune. So here we go, A part. Ready, and... <laughs> together and we are ready to take a look at the C. If you're still feeling a little wobbly on some of these notes in the A and B section, go ahead back up, review those a little bit to get them under your fingers before we move on to the next part. All right, welcome to the C part of Gravel Walk. You are over halfway there. Good stuff. The C part eases up again. It's a little bit more like the A section in that it's just a C part that repeats itself as is. There's no first ending, second ending, double third measures to keep in mind. It is fairly straightforward. So we ended on that B and I kept stopping you on that B and I was like, where is this going? It's going to a C natural. Listen to the C part one time through. <laughs> on that B to lead us into the D section here in just a minute. So the nice thing about this section is it also takes some little bits and pieces from the prior two sections. So the first bit starts on that C natural. <laughs>
pick up into the second phrase. <laughs> Try that slow motion together. We're gonna start on the pickup, which is an A, and it does a little triplet on that A again. Before going into that arpeggiated chord, that where we skip every other note. So let's try that second phrase, starting on the pickup. Open A to C natural, and then B, skip down and up. So let's do that a couple more times. Ready, and... Two more times. Ready, and... time and all right let's put first phrase and second phrase together starting on the C natural if you need to listen once we'll play it three times all together ready and the first and second phrase, but we'll play the C part twice so you can hear how they fit in. Here we go, starting with that C natural, ready, and... that the third phrase and the first phrase match in this one. And finally we've got that pattern that we've had so many other times in many of our other tunes. The fourth phrase is one we've actually already played. That's the one that starts on the, the E, high E, and it does a roll in the G. Back to the E. D, B. That reverse arpeggiated chord where it starts on the high note. So if we take the third and fourth phrase together, you get this. From our first phrase. From that earlier part. So let's take this C part and we're just going to circle it around a few times. It's a little bit more straightforward. We already have learned all the notes. It's just a matter of getting the puzzle pieces in the right order. So we'll circle it a few times slowly and then a couple times more quickly. Starting on the C natural. Ready, and...
section, B section, and B C section, and put them all together. We'll just play it one more one time through, just again to keep the overall picture, the big picture in our head, starting at the beginning. Here we go, a little bit slower than what we ended on. Ready and. <laughs> so far. So here we are. If you need to, to again, go back. I definitely encourage you, repeat as much as you need to, especially if you're new to learning by ear. This takes practice, just like any other skill. So back the video up if you still feel that you've got a few notes that you're not entirely sure what they are, and then we'll move on to the D part when you're ready. Okay, you've got the A, B, and C parts. Now we have one last part to do, and then we'll have all four parts for our real gravel walk. So let's get started into the D part. Listen through, I'll play it twice through, so you can hear the overall form. Uh, take particular notice as to the parts that you already know, because there's several parts that steal from other parts in this piece. Here we go. <laughs> as you were listening, is that the phrases in this uh, section are twice as long. So it makes it a little trickier to learn in some regards. But the nice thing about it is it steals a lot of little phrases from some of the prior, prior sections. So we'll actually start at the end, because you may have noticed the last little bit is the same as before with that A minor scale. <laughs> the F sharp on the way back down, and then adding the turnaround. So let's start with that part and just review it from our prior sections. Starting on the A and climbing up, this one goes up one note at a time. Ready, and... And it goes back down, skips F sharp. we play it to circle back to the D part, it will actually go up, but when we play it a circle to go back to the A part, it'll go back down to the A. So this has two little endings depending on where you are in the tune. So let's take, we'll play through that one more time, this time we'll end on the C instead of the A. Ready, and... And that 
C will start us into the first phrase. When you are listening to the, the couple of times through, you may have noticed that the first and third phrase match this time. So it makes it a little, again, easier to learn because we only have to learn the first and third phrase. We can learn the first and third phrase at the same time. So that section, uh, this, this tune sort of shifts. It, it does what's called modulate, which means it changes where we feel like the home tone is, where we feel like it's finished. It used to be an A. We were in an A minor, and so it felt best to our ears if it landed on an A. It felt finished. Now for this fourth section, it's modulated, it's changed to what's called the key of C, and so we like the C sound in it. Um, and it's one of the things that I think people that draw people to this tune is it's sort of an unexpected key change. We don't get a lot of those um, in Irish music, so this is kind of a nice lift on um, on the notes. So starting on a C natural, and then goes up to a high G natural. And the other high note in this piece will be A. So listen to the first phrase all the way through. So you may have noticed there's a lot of C and a lot of G. It has that little pop up to the A, and then it has that turnaround at the end that we hear a lot in this piece. So let's break that down a little bit. So it's C, G, C, A, C, G, C, C. Let's do the first half. Ready, and. Same thing, and. The second half of this phrase starts the same. Listen up to it. Going that C to G, but then it does our turnaround notes. E, A, G, B, and then it goes back up to the C. So let's take that second part of the phrase. Ready, and. first phrase together, both parts of it. Ready, and. We'll take that little section and we'll loop it. So the C we started on and the C we ended on will become the same note, and we'll just circle it around three times in a row, no stopping in between each time. Ready, and. So that comes back in the third phrase as well. So you know the first, third, and fourth phrases. So let's go ahead and play the whole D part, but this time you'll listen during the second phrase since we haven't learned it quite yet. As you're listening to that phrase, see if you can pick out some pieces that you already know because there's some notes that again are stealing from some of the earlier sections. So you'll play first phrase, listen, play the third phrase, which is what we just learned, play the fourth phrase. That was that A minor scale. <laughs> that little bit, and then we'll repeat the whole D part. So we'll play it twice so you can hear that second phrase two times through to really start to get it into your ear. Here we go, our D part. Ready, and... Here's our A minor scale. 
back to the very beginning of the tune. So we have just a few little notes to learn and then we've got all four parts of Gravel Walk. Let's take a look at that second phrase. <laughs> Actually, the nice thing about the second phrase is it almost is verbatim other parts of this tune. It starts by stealing from our first phrase in the D part. What we played before. Then it has a little bit of a variation. That's our A minor scale from, from the fourth phrase. Just the rhythm has shifted just a tiny bit, so it sounds a little bit different, but it's that same starting on the high A, skipping the F sharp, and then turning around at the bottom. So let's take that second phrase and we'll loop it. So looping again, we won't break in between each part, we'll just start that C and then end that C on the same note. Ready, second phrase, and go. the whole D part. We will play the D part four times. The first time we'll go about the tempo we've been going and then the second two we'll kick it up just a little bit faster and get a little bit of speed under our fingers. So here we go. D part of gravel walk four times through. Ready and... <laughs> to gravel walk. So now it's time to put the all four pieces together. All right, if you need to go back and review any of those notes before we play, definitely take a minute to do that. 
but we are ready to put gravel walk to the whole the whole tune together. So A part, B part, remember the B part has that first ending and that second ending, a little variation. C part, nice and straightforward, repeats itself. D part, double the length, also repeats itself though verbatim. So here we go. A part, we'll play four times. Sorry, we'll play the whole tune four times, the A part twice. Uh, the first two times we'll play through the whole tune more slowly. The second time we'll kick it up a notch. And maybe we'll add in a bonus fifth time. We'll see how it's feeling. Here we go. Beginning of gravel walk, starting on that A, E, A, B, A, B, E, A. All right, ready, and...
get ready to kick it up a notch. you got gravel walk now take a minute go back over those notes or play through it a few more times on your own it's always a big challenge to play a tune on your own after you've learned it playing with somebody else it's very different when you have to think of all of those notes on your own so give yourself a little bit of a challenge there if you feel like that you got this and if not take a minute go back review those sections that you need to review and try it again it takes time it takes energy it takes effort to get these these tunes under your fingers so keep Keep moving for forward, don't get discouraged on it, and hopefully we'll see you for a, soon, for a tune again soon. Have a good one.